In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our deaths. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. And the word became flesh. And dwells among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at our fathers. Amen. Pray for us, Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Call for us, we beseech thee, O Lord, your grace into our hearts. That sweet to whom the incarnation of Christ your Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. May the divine assistance remain always with us. And may the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Glory to Jesus. Intentions for this Mass. Birthday Thanksgiving. Aloysius C. Igbo. Birthday Thanksgiving. Miss Maureen Adenea. She's praying for God's love, blessings, and protection for herself, family, and friends. God's mercy and favor upon the family of Mr. and Mrs. Oluafemi Oladiji, for the peaceful repose of the souls of Michael C. Sarumi, Antonio A. Domingo, Miriam M. Haruna, Victoria Falade, Francis O. Oyewumi, Philomena S. Shokweju, Elsie A. Odunewu, Akoni C. Odunewu, and Foster A. Jones. May the good Lord grant these intentions and the intentions of our hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Hymn 27. Hymn 27. Praise my soul, the King of heaven, to his feet my tribute bring. Ransomed, healed, restored, forgiven, who like thee his praise shall sing. Praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him. grace and favor to our fathers in distress. Praise Him still the same as ever, slow to tired and swift to bless. Praise Him, praise Him, praise Him, praise Him. In the name 
name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Beloved in Christ, to prepare ourselves worthily for this celebration, let us now call to mind our sins and ask God for pardon and for strength. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, protector of those who hope in you, without whom nothing has firm foundation, nothing is holy, bestow in abundance your mercy upon us and grant that with you as our ruler and guide, we may use the th good things that pass in such a way as to hold fast even now to those that ever endure. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Jeremiah. The word that was addressed to Jeremiah by the Lord. Get up and make your way down to the porter's house. There I shall let you hear what I have to say. So I went down to the porter's house, and there he was, walking as the wheel. And whenever the vessel he was making came out wrong, as happens with the clay handled by porters, he would start afresh, and walk it into another vessel, as potters do. Then this word of the Lord was addressed to me. House of Israel, cannot I do to you what this potter does? It is the Lord who speaks. Yes, as the clay is in the potter's hand, so you are in mine house of Israel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. He is happy who is helped by Jacob's God. He is happy who is helped by Jacob's God. He is happy who is helped by Jacob's God. My soul give praise to the Lord. I will praise the Lord all my days. Make music to my God while I live. He is happy who is helped by Jacob's God. Put no trust in princes, in mortal men in whom there is no help. Take their breath, they return to clay, and their plants that day come to nothing. He is happy who is helped by Jacob's God. He is happy who is helped by Jacob's God. Whose hope is in the Lord is God, who alone made heaven and earth, the seas and all they contain. He is happy who is helped by Jacob's God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I call you friends, says the Lord, because I have made known to you everything I have learned from my Father. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The 
Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowd, The kingdom of heaven is like a dragnet cast into the sea that brings in a hull of all kinds. When it is full, the fishermen haul it in ashore, then sitting down, they collect the good ones in a basket and throw away those that are no use. This is how it will be at the end of time. The angels will appear and separate the wicked from the just to throw them into the blazing furnace where there will be weeping and grinding of teeth. Have you understood all this? They said yes. And he said to them, Well then, every scribe who becomes a disciple of the kingdom of heaven is like a householder who brings out from his storeroom things both new and old. When Jesus had finished these parables, he left the district. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to Jesus. Honor to Mary and Joseph. We give thanks to God for the gift of our lives, for who we are. For it is in him that we live and move and have our being. And once again we pray that the good Lord will bless all our intentions, especially for this Mass. For all those who have asked for our prayers, we pray that Almighty God will meet each and every one of us at the various point of needs and grant eternal rest to the source of the departed through Christ our Lord. As Psalmist today says that a man is happy who is helped by Jacob's God, that is God of the universe, the God who created heaven and earth. That is, it is only in God that we can find true satisfaction and true happiness. There is always the temptation in every man, just like the temptation from the, at the beginning of creation, that is the temptation to be independent. There is nothing wrong in being independent, but then to be independent, to be without God, that is the, a great and uh, a delvish temptation to think that we can exist that we can do without God. And that has always been the, the problem with man. At the height of prosperity, at the clamors of all the achievements and whatever they can achieve or do, there is always a temptation to think that I am the one that is responsible. I achieve this on my own. And then to go to the extreme to say that I don't need God. That is the ego and that is the pride of man coming in to actually think that we can do without God. Remember the story of the Tower of Babel also? Not only with Adam and Eve, but at the point, the, you know, at the height of prosperity, economic boom, things were flourishing and they said to themselves, let us rise higher than the skies without any consideration for God do whatever we want to do and so the law reminds them in the, the time of the prophet jeremiah it compares them that is us with the clay and it says house of israel can i not do to you what this potter does he said yes as the clay is in the potter's hands so you are in mine house of israel and if there is one thing that God continues to hammer in the mind of the people of Israel, it is that they must never forget their origin. They must never forget where they are coming from. But everything that they have become in their entire life, it is God himself who is totally responsible for it. Without God, they are nothing. The same thing that Jesus Christ reminded us, and he said, I am the vine and you are the branches. The only way that you can be fruitful, that is to achieve your potentials in life. For the moment that God created man, he said, 
be fruitful be productive the sky is not even your limit I give you everything you can achieve a lot but then always remember who created you when he asks us when he said that be fruitful it means that we can that fruitfulness can only come not without him but in him and through him and with him that is there is nothing we can do without God but then God has so much blessed us he has given us a power the power of the will and that is why most times we we go against him and then we think that nothing happens no things will happen we will always take responsibility for our actions what God declared his sovereignty in the first reading and then in the gospel passage he says you will take responsibility for your actions I place before you life and death water and fire now if you choose life then you leave but then if you choose fire then you burn but then most of the things that attract us in this world are fire but then we just don't understand or we cannot see that they can burn because the devil will not come to say that I want to send you to hell the Bible says that even the, the devil pretends to be the angel of light. No, the devil always comes presenting something that is nice. He cannot even use the word of God to buttress his point. Just like what the, the devil did to Jesus, the devil quoted the word of God for Jesus, who is God. But then whatever we're going to do, that remains a responsibility. We can either choose God and leave. Or, I mean take the other side too and then kill ourselves but then here God said in the gospel passage that at the end of the day there will surely be a separation the good one from the bad and that will be our action what we do with the freedom that God has given to us so we have a good opportunity every moment we breathe is an opportunity to reflect on our lives to look at the areas you have done not so well and retrace your steps and then the good one that you have done then also pray and give thanks to God for the grace to continue the good that you have been doing because everything takes the grace of God and so the psalmist says then you are happy if you allow God to help you do not put trust in yourself or not even in any of your achievements don't do not say that oh i've achieved this by myself i do not need god again or the ways of god have now become obsolete or archaic or old-fashioned he says that put no trust in princes and put no trust in men take their breath they return to clay and their plans that they come to nothing a very hard truth that we are always reminded at the beginning of lenten period that remember that you are dust and unto dust shall return the one day everything is going to end but then if you are on the side of God then things will always end well and that is our prayer that after all our efforts all that we do here may everything not be in vain but at the end of the day may God grant us entrance into his kingdom at the end of our lifetime through Christ our Lord Amen Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us rise and pray. We are all little fishes in God's net. May He sustain whatever is good in us. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray, O oh Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. God's net drags in a great variety of people. May we be sensitive to those of different culture and background. We pray, O oh Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. When the time comes for sorting out good from bad, may the Lord show us His mercy and loving kindness. We pray, O oh Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We are God's people, a church of sinners. 
may we turn again and follow the way of the Lord. We pray, O Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Like the Christian scribes, may we preserve what is good from our tradition and seek fresh ways of dealing with new problems. We pray, O Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. The Lord is the potter, we are the clay. May we recognize his strong and capable hands in the shaping of our lives. We pray, O Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us now silently add our private intentions. Let us pray through the intercession of Mary, the refuge of sinners, as we say, Hail Mary. Full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All powerful Father, giver of breath and bread, Lead us to seek the pearl of great price, the everlasting treasure of Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Hymn number 59. Hymn 59. Take my hands and make them as your own. And use them for your kingdom here on earth. Consecrate them to your care. Anoint them for your service where you may need your gospel to be sown. Take my hands, they speak now for my heart. And by their actions, they will show their love. Guard them on due daily cause. Be their strength and guiding force to ever serve the Trinity above. Take my hands, I give them to you, Lord. Prepare them for the service of your name. Open them to human need, and by their love they'll sow your seed, so may know the love and hope you gave. Take my hands, take my hands, oh Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the offerings which you bring from the abundance of your gifts, that through the powerful working of your grace, these most sacred mysteries may sanctify our present way of life and lead us to eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is to receive your gift. Since our praises are nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. 
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift to pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like a dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have heard us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity to get out Francis our Pope and Alfred the Archbishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph his spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. That the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching we dare to say, Our Amen. Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, 
you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Him one hundred and ten, him one one zero. Worshippers at home and elsewhere, we make an act of spiritual communion. O oh Jesus, we believe that you are truly present in the most blessed sacrament of the altar. We adore you, we love you above all things, and we desire with all our hearts to receive you into our souls. 
But since we cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into our souls and remain there forever. We embrace you as though you have already come. We unite ourselves entirely to you. Do not permit us to be ever separated from you again. Amen. Jesus, in the most blessed sacrament of the altar, Jesus, in the most blessed sacrament of the altar, have mercy on the dead. Jesus, in the most blessed sacrament of the altar, grant us our holy and our happy days. Amen. O sacraments most holy, O sacraments divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacraments most holy, O sacraments divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacraments most holy, O sacraments divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Let us pray. We have consumed, O Lord, this divine sacrament, the perpetual memorial of the passion of your Son. Grant that, grant to pray that his gift, which he himself gave us with love beyond all telling, may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Hymn 148, Hymn 148. Praise the Lord, you heavens adore him. Praise him, angels in the height. Sun and moon rejoice before him. Praise him, all you stars and light. Praise the Lord, for he has spoken. Words his mighty voice obey. Laws which never shall be broken, for the guidance he has made. Praise the Lord, for he is glorious, never shall he from his bell, God has made his saints victorious, sin and death shall not prevail. Praise the Lord for salvation, O Son High, his power proclaim. Heaven and earth and all. Praise 